what's going on in our neighboring galaxy. An alarming signal has been obtained through the James Internet Telescope, and it came directly from our neighboring galaxy, Andromeda. The galaxy, home to trillions of stars, is one of the most beautiful acknowledged galaxies inside the universe. However, it's also risky at times. This galaxy devours whole mini-galaxies and is presently hurtling toward our Milky Way at extra than 100 kmc. Is the extraordinary signal the first indication of the approaching assembly among the Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way? Or are we dealing with an extraordinary unknown phenomenon? James Webb turned his sharp eyes to the galaxy and is now showing us something incredible. This galaxy has already proven us in an impressive way that it's not what we think it is. Within the 1920s, massive names like Harlow Shapley, Heber Curtis, and Edwin Hubble conducted studies using the modern-day technologies of the time. Thanks to the achievements of electrical engineering, telescope performance increased significantly in the early 1920s, and for the first time, astronomers were able to look beyond the edges of our galaxy. At that point, Heber Curtis was still one of the researchers who believed that the Milky Way was the entire universe, while his colleague Harlow Shapley suspected that there were other galaxies and that the universe was much larger. Shapley and Hubble had spotted strange nebulous clouds behind the border of the Milky Way. One of them was named the Andromeda Nebula, as it hides behind the constellation of Andromeda. At the time, Andromeda was initially regarded by the general scientific community as a simple nebula that was clearly outside the real universe. In 1924, Hubble completed a revolutionary breakthrough and was able to show that Andromeda and numerous other nebulae observed were, in fact, galaxies. That's crazy, isn't it? That was just a hundred years ago. So for 100 years, we have known about other galaxies and the true nature of Andromeda. Back then, people were given their first impression that the universe was even larger than they had previously imagined. We have experienced such upheavals again and again in our history. People used to think that the Earth was all there was and that the sun was a hole in the sky through which life from a god shone onto the Earth. Then, People thought that the Earth was a disk and that you would fall into nothingness or hell if you went beyond the edge. Galileo Galilei was put under house arrest in the 17th century for his claim that the Earth revolved around the Sun, and some centuries later, the Church finally recognized that the Earth was round. Can you imagine what Galileo would have said about such images or how the Church of the Middle Ages would have reacted to the idea of a galaxy in an almost infinitely large universe? A galaxy twice the size of our Milky Way and with trillions of stars. Around 100 years ago, Andromeda turned out to be not only a galaxy but also a series of stars far larger and more powerful than our own. Initially, astronomers thought the galaxy was a disk or a ring. Although telescopes had made significant progress in the 1920s, the observation opportunities were still nowhere comparable to the technology we have available today. It was only with significantly higher imaging that it became apparent that Andromeda is actually a spiral arm galaxy like our Milky Way. Only Andromeda is significantly larger, with a diameter of around 220,000 light years. Andromeda is about twice as large as our Milky Way, which has a diameter of around 100,000 to 120,000 light years. Although it's only slightly more than twice as large, it contains far more stars. The Andromeda Galaxy is estimated to be home to around 1 trillion stars, while we have just 100 to 400 billion stars in the Milky Way. Thanks to the higher star density, Andromeda is a true beacon in the night sky. Astronomers could only dream of such numbers and great details 100 years ago, though you can well imagine how exciting the discovery of other galaxies must have been back then. Today, we know for certain that there are around 50 billion galaxies. Estimates anticipate that there are a total of 100 to 200 billion galaxies within the observable universe. Some calculations even arrive at the astronomical figure of 2 trillion galaxies. Most of these galaxies are found in a supercluster named the Shapley Supercluster, in honor of one of the first galaxy researchers. James Webb shows Andromeda as a hoop of hearth. Evidently, each age and generation has seen a revolution in science and technology. The telescope named after Edwin Hubble dramatically changed our view of the universe in the mid-1990s. Today, with James Webb, we have the best space telescope of all time with razor-sharp infrared images. This telescope scans every light signal in the universe, regardless of how small. Unlike Hubble, Webb detects traces of light in the infrared range with its devices. The telescope collects every trace of light, 
regardless of how small, and assembles these minimal impulses into remarkable images. After hours of exposure time, Hubble already provided us with a powerful image of the Andromeda galaxy. Imagine this picture was assembled from thousands of individual photos. Now, Webb is taking another look at the Andromeda galaxy using precise infrared technology. And once again, we are in for a wonder. Every new telescope and every technological advance introduces us to new areas of the universe. Infrared telescopy gives us insights that were unattainable with earlier technologies. One of the main advantages of infrared observations is the ability to monitor dust structures inside galaxies. In the Andromeda galaxy, for example, infrared light allows for the first time a clear view of dust rings that have remained hidden in other wavelengths. These dust rings tell the story of star formation inside the galaxy and are evidence of dynamic processes. Infrared observations are generally particularly useful for detecting cool objects that do not emit enough heat to produce waves in the visible light spectrum. This makes young stars and their formation areas particularly visible to Webb, and the telescope sees all the cool dust clouds that can eventually become stars. Webb not only detects the dust but also penetrates it without any problems. We can now see through the dense clouds of gas and dust, revealing the inner systems with active galactic centers and incredibly massive black holes. Creepy galactic cannibalism. While most of you have probably heard of galaxy mergers, where two galaxies become one, the reality of galactic cannibalism is probably a surprise. Galaxies eating each other seems like a name from a bad science fiction movie. And yet this phenomenon is an astronomical reality. By cannibalism, Galaxy researchers suggest processes where a larger galaxy actually devours the matter of a smaller one. In contrast to mergers, the larger galaxy extracts all the matter from the smaller one and destroys it. The basic structure of the larger of the two remains almost unchanged. This is caused by gravitational processes. If galaxies come close enough to each other because of their mutual attraction and the difference in size is significant, this can result in the disintegration of the smaller galaxy. This phenomenon has been observed mainly in galaxy clusters where many galaxies lie together in a limited space. The gravitational interaction leads to a dynamic response where stars, gas, and dust are pulled away from the smaller galaxy and incorporated into the larger one. The dynamic tidal forces can lead to significant star formation phases and disrupt the nuclei of the galaxies involved. Are you surprised to hear that the extraordinary Andromeda is one such galactic cannibal? Our neighboring galaxy has been shown to have gobbled several of its satellite galaxies. Certain structures in the stellar population of Andromeda serve as evidence of these violent acts, and the traces are also visible, for instance, in the galaxies M32 and M110, which are still partly visible today. By the way, our Milky Way is no innocent party in this cosmic drama. It has already assimilated several smaller galaxies in its history and is currently devouring the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy. Galactic cannibalism probably plays just as big a role in the development of galaxies and the shaping of the large-scale structure of the universe as harmonious mergers between galaxies or even encounters wherein galaxies only partially touch and exchange matter due to their mutual gravitational interactions. The cosmic networks are constantly changing, and the cosmic networks, in turn, contribute in their own way to the dynamics of the galaxies. All in all, this is a cosmic round dance that we can only observe and understand in fractions. The most powerful crash of all time, Milkjurda. It's true. At this very moment, the Andromeda galaxy is hurtling towards us at a speed of 110 kilometers per second, and we are also moving closer to it. The cosmic marriage of the two is inevitable, and it almost seems as if the two are magically drawn to each other. In around 4.5 billion years, the climax of the cosmic spectacle of superlatives will take place. The Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy will then begin their final merger. The result will be Milkjurda, and the beginning of this new galaxy will mark the end of separate galactic entities. This coming together is not abrupt, but a process that will gradually gain intensity over millions of years. As the two get closer and closer, their respective gravitational fields will start to interact with each other, leading to dramatic changes in the structure of both galaxies. At a certain distance, first, the outer stars will collide. Their orbits will be perturbed by each other's gravitational forces, leading to a beautiful albeit chaotic arrangement of stars. 
stars and star clusters that were once stable in their galactic disks will then be thrown into new orbits, and some will likely even be catapulted out of the galaxies and then travel through the vastness of intergalactic space without a connection to a galaxy. Meanwhile, gas and dust between the galaxies are compressed, leading to a new wave of star formation. A firework show of young, brightly shining stars will accompany this galactic wedding. Unlike cannibalism, the galaxies are getting more and more intermingled. Some areas are merging harmoniously, while others are undergoing major changes under pressure. At the heart of the two galaxies, the drama becomes even more intense. The supermassive black holes approach each other, orbiting each other in an ever closer dance until they finally merge. This merger is accompanied by the release of huge amounts of energy, and massive jets can shoot out into the surrounding universe at nearly the speed of light. During the millions and millions of years in which this merger takes place, the appearance of the resulting galaxy will change significantly several times. From the initial spiral structure of both galaxies, their union will create a massive elliptical galaxy known as Milkjurda. Neither Andromeda nor the Milky Way will then be recognizable. Instead, a completely new structure will move through the universe. Click subscribe now. There are many more video highlights to come.